Well, I guess. I guess I will kill the spiders first. Shotful. Is shot for like something you have to go into or okay. I'm going for the quest first and then I will come back. Uh I see. I have like three curses now and I don't know which kind of curses they are. It's hidden, we got a treasure again. <laughs> oh. Ah, I get the full reward here. Uh, that's great, I'll take it. Oh, a skull. What else? Turn to Leela. I will go for the. Or Lila, and then I will. Lila, 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 whatever. Lila is like the German word, like the German pronounce for it. It's Lila. Lila means purple. <laughs> so I guess. We go to Lila, Lila, whatever. And then we go to Sil and cleanse the amulet. We get rid of those curses, whatever they are. I think if you just if you glance it, if you glance it, you will get the uh, the other bonuses, and it will be available as an accessory, not as an item. What would actually be pretty great if there were like um, there were like fire fire ice and lightning damage on it. My my my! You've gone and killed the spiders! How grand! How very grand! Normally, I don't condone the killing of innocent creatures, but those are so creepy. You are too kind. <laughs> From now on, you are considered a valued customer to all the Janix. Everything is cheaper for the Spider Slayer. That is your name, isn't it? Uh, nope. It's obviously not my name. Okay. So, we're going for... The Amulet now, and then we're going for the main quest. Well, she's the one show is getting showed on the map. It's a, uh, I don't know, what, I don't know what what her side is. Uh, it just looks like a shop sign. Okay, so let's cleanse the amulet. If they if they catch you once, you're just getting smashed by them. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'm going to sa <laughs> I'm going to save first, of course. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting into any more houses before for saving. <laughs> I panicked so hard when I couldn't connect uh, when I couldn't get back to the to the open world.
Hmm. Okay. It still took especially long to load, I guess. Oh, there's a secret door. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. This is just for the... Oh, you have to go through here. And then you can go back. If I could pull off the, the elemental rage here, it would be so great. Just to look at it, like all of those, all of those rogues gangs mashed together. Oh. But obviously, I couldn't, because some of those wolves just stopped me. This is something to whisper. Oh no! Oh, I guess I'll take it. I don't like to dispel at all. Okay, here we go. Back to our task. Land snapper. Boga tabla. Okay, at least uh, those are just bogards. They're kind of kind of easy to beat. Those are way worse than the bogarts. So, anything here? Some more chests, some more loot. Whatever it takes, I guess. Ah, oh, there's, there's a corpse as well. I'm just. I'm, doing, I'm level 18. I just want to see if I'm my level. Oh. Sorcery. I think my next destiny would be like on 79. Like the sorcerer. Oh, 76. Okay. No, the 9. Next is 76. Ooh, level 25, I guess. Like this will be. God, please no, let me cast something. Yep. Boom. <laughs> I really got to play this game on all of a melee character again. After I finish this, I think I will do like a like at least a one year break of this game and then i i think i will just play it again with the with a melee melee character dispel there we go okay there's nothing more to get here. Just want to get a special amulet. Ah, there's a snapper. Okay, I can't do something to it. Just want to see how much. Whoa! Holy damn, I just wanted to see how much damage this thing is actually dealing. <laughs> oh no, no sprites. This thing nearly one shot me. Holy damn. damn. 
Are you serious? Let me out. Hailstorm, this sounds like a pretty disgusting bow. Ooh, even more stuffs. Holy damn. This, is, uh, this stuff has like 121 damage. With fire. It's insane. I will just take this one now. This is, this is like 20 damage more. And... It's even lesser in the in the uh, level department. Like the requirement level is 10, this one is 12. Okay, the thing is like the freezing. Oh god, this hammer is so amazing as well. Ooh, this hammer is like 141 damage. And a socket. That's so great. Yeah, this bow is awesome. I've had one with more damage, I guess, required level 20. It had like 141. I sell it, but still it, it was one of the best things I found so far. Or like, like there was a, another longsword with 160 damage. But yeah, I, I didn't find any mage weapons in this uh, kind of, in this kind of, uh, kind of level range. Which would have been awesome, of course. Ugh. Listen, resistance. Well, we'll still hold on to this House of Ballads ring. Hmm, with some of those. So here we go. Nope, I don't come near you in any way. Those are like my wor the worst enemies in this game, those the sprites. They are so... They're just annoying. Even though they are not that strong, but still, they're just annoying. Especially the ones... I think they are called Elite. They can teleport in, in, uh, right behind you. Was this the trash? My fire stuff is like, like so strong against those uh, fresh. Oh god, I want, wow, I want to loot this guy. So I just build this chest. Long sword of twilight. Wow. Did I just get the long sword of twilight. Awesome. Ten percent damage at night. Let's go. Mm. I will heal myself first, and I will get my skeleton as well, just in case. I don't know what uh, what's the cleansing like about. Is there coming a new? Okay. So, 
Where's my amulet now? Okay. So what? So I just have to re well, I just have to return this amulet now. Damn, I thought I, I could like take it and have it for me, I guess. Not cool. I think I will reach reach Uron tool first and then I will teleport there. Let's see. Just running down there. Well, so now I can choose if I give it to this uh, the Wayne guy or if I give it to the Edwin. I think the Wayne guy like doesn't even care. He was like talking about this old guy who's just collecting his artifacts. Your boys. Hmm. Oh, there's a there's a secret door. Even more spiders. Hey. Where's the secret door? Ah, here it is. Let me in. More reagents. Oh. Killbook alchemy. That's okay. Uh, alchemy skillbook. Where are you at? Here I go. After reading this book, your alchemy skill has been permanently increased. Bagaric Musaeum. In many years of study, I have found that the natural ingredients used in the practice of alchemy can as easily be categorized by their methods of combination as by their senses. However, the task is not to be taken lightly. One wayward pinch of cripple spore is enough to leave, leave even the hardiest Certain week for days. For this reason, I am writing this book so that future alchemists, apocrites, healers, and herbalists succeed in practicing this dangerous and mysterious art. Whereas a complete and exhaustive list of receipts and reagents may be of interest to the novice, I instead will provide a more valuable knowledge. The manner in which the uh, potions, elixirs, tonics, restoratives, physics and all other chemi alchemical products are constructed. At first, this may seem elementary. The information can be divined by even the most experienced alchemists. However, there is a great lack of understanding by most practitioners of alchemy that what exactly occurs during the process of creating a vial of magical liquid. Here in abbreviated form is that process. First, the alchemist needs the proper tools, and the most vital of these can be found in the alchemy workbench. This space and the accompanying equipment of is necessary <clears throat> for even most minors, minor of alchemical procedures. Fortunately, workbenches can be found throughout Amalur in almost every town and village. Secondly, and just as crucial, the alchemist needs the reagents themselves. Reagent gathering is a skill and craft unto itself. It may a brave soul has focus on a focus on nothing but the harvesting of alchemical reagents from the plants of the Feylands. The greatest concentration and variety of these plants can be found in the cradle of summer in the plains of Erothel. Holy will you <laughs> Erothel. However, the diverse flora of Darlentav often yields a bountiful variety 
and the deserts of the tire <coughs> uh, can hide a con conucopia of minerals and flowers. There are great numbers of reagents indeed. Too many to list here. However, one commonly accepted principle is that every reagent worth harvesting carries within itself a prime essence. Take for example the sativa stalk. Oh, sativa again. This though you ubiquitous well ubiquitous weed can be found throughout the phalanx in the most extreme climates and conditions. It is required in many potions that involve affecting the corporal aspects of the imbibor and clearly is imbued within a sense of physical nature. It is easily surmised that the harvested fibers of the weed possesses, possess an essence relating to the physical world. Finally, the alchemist must possess the unique receipt and appropriate experience required to handle the delicate and intricate nature of combining reagents. There are countless methods of mixing potions, boiling, mashing, calcinating, sublimation, smoking, distillation, dilution, absorption, adsorption, serration, chromatography, ingulation, and so forth. The brave may even experience without a receipt. However, it is a dangerous risk and is strongly discouraged, except in cases of emergency. While this is by no means the entire body of, of knowledge of a, chem, a chemical method, it is a solid foundation. Armed with the knowledge, you are now able to perform rudimentary alchemy. Only through your own dedication will you progress in this field. Good luck and may your potions always taste delicious. Thanks. <coughs> okay, that <coughs> that was pretty much to read. Um, okay, so I got my third point in alchemy. <coughs> hmm. Okay, should really consider to upgrade it now, like the alchemy. Uh. Like anything, I ooh, loot grave. Hasty's helm, this is a... I think this is a might. Uh, this is a might set. Holy damn! This is for. This is so great for such a such a uh, hybrid build, I guess. If you're playing a breed on on this uh, with this set on, it's pretty it seems pretty good. You're getting like if you have all of them, you're getting like one might abilities, one finesse, and one sorcery. Just curious, is there a destiny for this? Like for the free time? Ah, it is. Speaker universalist. Equipment requirements reduced by twenty. Due to all skills. It's pretty fine as well. The only thing is on the... If I'm seeing this destiny, you're having melee, ranged, and magic attack increased. So you, you have like... How shall I say? You have like... You only have two weapon slots. So you need to have the one melee in there. You have to have one range in there. And you have to have one magic uh, item like a like a staff or a chakram and so you have you need like three slots for weapons and this this would be fine but with two i can't see i can't really see the point in that actually 
I have no clue how this should like work out. But I will just go to Rule Tusk first. Then I will port back to the to the amulet and then we can proceed with all of our main quests. Ooh, another potion. I'm coming back in a second. Let me go to a Mary. Oh, this was loaded pretty fast. I think I will give it to the leading guy. Don't mind me. Just another refugee looking for a hand. They have the amulet. Wonderful. Give it here. The amulet itself isn't worth the stone it's made from. But it's the story that interests me. Something of Armand's belongs to me. Okay, why should I give it to you? I don't have much in the way of gold, but I have acquired quite the collection of useful items in my, um, travels. <laughs> okay, why take I like it. You. you prefer action to debate. You will go far because of it, like me. Well... Like me before I was betrayed and left for dead. Wait, I'm just kidding. Did I just get some lockpicks? Oh. Okay. Um... We'll actually never give never give a robot something again in this game. This was like a thing I got from him. <laughs> this is like ten minutes of playtime and I'm having the same the same items. So here is General Tilera. Hail, I am General Talera Ap Gwydion, former commander of the Eastern Alpha Forces. Surely you're not the aid Aelin Shear promised. She spoke as if she planned to send a whole squad of soldiers, not one faceless mercenary. Okay. You have the bearing of one that's seen combat, but you never fought in the war or you would know who I am. Once I was the commander of Mel Sen Shear, the Alpha Fortress to the east. I held back the Tuatha at every push before the Baylor came. Then everything fell to pieces. Hmm. So, yeah. she is behind this. That woman. One too many times she's meddled in my affairs, making promises she never intends to keep. Well, perhaps it is for the best. The fewer people involved in my affairs, the better. You see, misfortune follows closely at my heels. It is the lot fate has cast for me. Well, you have no Her clue. Tusk. The tomb about me of the divine fame, having no the fate in light. with a weapon like that I could rally the troops at Melsen Shear and perhaps redeem myself they say the ruin is guarded by legions of Niskaro led by a beast known as Azagal whether this is true or the stuff of legend I don't know okay Ten years who are ago, you to I the Alpha armies defending Pluricon and Melsen Shear from the Tuatha armies then Witch Knight Malwin led his Tuatha summoners against us. The fiends routed my soldiers at every turn. Now they've had Melsen Shear under siege for years, while I've been searching for a weapon to turn the tide. Okay. With Tuatha right raiding here. parties along the shores, Rothia has the only port for safe passage across the strait. But after assisting Melsen Shear for so many years, the ruling council of Rathia is loath to offer more aid for what they see as a lost cause. Melsen Shear is the gateway into Clericon, but it's been under siege ever since my defeat. I failed the city once. I can't fail them again. We may be lofty, but we are not weak. Our land is cold and harsh, and we have long studied the noble arts of bow and blade. 
Across a thousand battlefields, my spear paints a red masterpiece. She's highly thinking of herself, I guess. An Iskaru lord that the Tuatha managed to coerce into fighting on their behalf. Against the Tuatha, I had some success. But no ordinary weapon can best the Baelor. One must fight darkness with light. Okay, Here's so trust me, I can have. I have learned of the means that might deliver Melsen Shear from the Tuatha. It lies in Earl Tusk, beyond a gate fated never to be opened. In a hall awash with Niskaru. Any who seek access to the ruin must face them. That's kind of the question I had. How will this ha How will this uh, to be the resting place of the piercing the wall. Light, a spear carved from the tusk of the Niskaru Duke Gajor. The legends say it destroys any horror in the mind or on the battlefield. No place is more deserving of such a power as Melson Shear. Or I could have this power. Oh, For we all open my the years gate. of research, I've only ever found one clue to this puzzle. When the great voices rise in song. It may refer to the wind stones scattered across the plains. They bear a striking resemblance to the stones of this ruin. But that's simply me grasping at answers. Take this chime. It is said to have been taken from the ruin during its construction many centuries ago. I've tried using it on the windstones with no luck. But I'm awesome. The inscription <laughs> says the gate will open when the great voices rise in song. I think this means the windstones that are spread across Erethel. There's one just a little to the south. Go there and strike this chime near it. I'll stay here to see if it has any effect. The windstones are located all across the plains. I guess I will just smash the windstone. Or more like smash the chime at the windstone. some already some good as weapons who just just what I like give me the chakrams lightning chakrams 86 damage Aye. This looks so cool. Okay. I, I can't believe it. The gate shifted? For all my efforts, you simply <laughs> appear and make it respond. Just as I said, I'm awesome. <laughs> no, you've opened one part of the gate, but four more remain. You must find the wind stones scattered throughout the plains and activate them. I will remain here. The Niskaru will sense that the seal is weakened. Someone must try to hold them back. Yeah, of course. Long after the Arathi left our world, the mortals stones. built these windstones to call them back down. I've never seen them work, but as I said before, I'm not known for my good fortune. Go south Can you the open the gate yet? <laughs> in I'm just That's coming after every the windstone. Gate. Can you open the I'll gate yet? You're way too slow. Holy damn, this is like a... Uh, this is like an endless trip. Okay, so I guess I will just... I will just go there and... Take every one of those windstones. Yay! I'm curious how many Niskaros will come there. I guess I will fight like endless amounts of them when I when I do this quest. 
Give me those. There we go. Hit another one. Oh, please not. Not a, not a Lianchi. Boom. Yeah, still annoying. Those are like, those are my least favorite monsters in the whole game. This, those Lianchis, they're so annoying. Third year of passage, Tyrin entered this is what I wanted. In dark wood and fainy field, she strode until from wandering she was taken to the roots of mighty Velagru's child. So laden with Lyria's song, a greater magic known to know, she communed with nature's spirit, but the lyric she sought was not found. So to the plains of Erafel traveled the Lyria guided Tyr. Winds chased her swarthy cloak and tresses. Masked her against the moonlit plains. That ebon evening tide, that colored shade that so long ago marked us, Tyrion marched against the celestial expanse. Beneath the diamonded sky, she found her rest. Like in my current state, this seems pretty easy. New location, Malrain. I don't want to go in there just yet. Can I take something from the sky? No, we can't. So we're going for the hidden first, and then we kill the other two. Like Yanchi is here. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, just as I said, they, they can be annoying as hell. Could you give me your loot? <laughs> I guess you can't. Damn. <laughs> there we go, and level up. Hey. And of course the hidden treasure again. Alas notes. Recover the notes. Ah, this was from the uh from the uh, side quests I guess. I picked up some some side I think the What the hell? Oh wow, already killed them. This was easier than expected. Oh, where's the last one? They just respawn or what's the deal with them? Level up, level up, level up. Where do I have to go now? Ooh, okay. So I guess I will just go to. I already forgot the name. Galafor. 
Okay, level up first. Um, we are going for the lock picking. I've, I've said I wanted to pick up the lock picking to its full potential now. And then I'm going for the alchemist. So, what can I do now? Hmm. There's some more levels for the for the other spells here. So I guess I guess I'll just go with the Smolder Tempest. Yeah, I will just go with the Smolder. That's cause this is my two uh um, no. Confirm. Confirm. Uh, still the sage. Okay. So, let's head to Galfan or Galafo. <laughs> I'm not good at names, but when I'm like actually playing the game. Uh, if you're asking me after the after I played the, the game, I will just... I, I can... Pretty much answer you pretty well. But when, I'm, when I'm in the game right now, it's not possible. Well, I don't think I can. There we go. And one more time. Just wanted to have the hidden treasure here. You have to attack me, I guess. Okay, even more. More down here. There should be a, a path somewhere to the left side here. Yeah, I can see it. Stone of Summer. Tell me your story. Please? The great cycle okay. brought powerful magic oh, to our again. lord. The arcane oh, veil begat King Issa's reign, and all things in balance, also its destruction. The seasons passed, the summer wilted into autumn, and Lord Ohm cast his King Issa's sway receded, as does the shade at noon. The Feylands rested from their sprouting, and a haze of indolence silenced the woods. When the winter moon waned, it began. A terrible thunder rolled across the darkened plains of error. <laughs> This is again a like um like a point to the, uh, on the on the cat flow guy. Yeah, just referencing like everything on the, on him. So yeah, back on on my path. Jotun warriors. <laughs> so damn awesome. <laughs> They're just moving like the bears when he's like styling on me. Is it's like so weird. They are just moving so strangely, and then they're just supping. This one is just like he's just looking like he was 
He would do some stylish uh, breakdance on me. I love this kind of bug glitch or whatever you would call it. Nothing. I think I will just go to Talarain first. Then I'm just doing it like a like a circle. Yep. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm just heading to the south or like southy. Uh it's it's really just the south. I can take on all of you. No problem. Are you okay? <laughs> He did! <laughs> he was wiggling around. Just says uh, something on uh, uh, I don't I don't know what it's called called in English, like the there was a family guy episode. On which uh, on which someone was selling um I would say balloon people. And they were looking so strange. I've got to go here. Yep, that's it. That's the passage I'm looking for. And they were like wriggling around like this. This was like the same move uh, she just did. Ooh, a troll. I just don't want to face it right now. Halloween. Let's see. fire for me yeah those trash are aren't that bad I guess they are kind of strong but at least I have like my main spell is fire and that's kind of pretty good against them but still they are not not that easy to beat Especially the the ability where it hits like uh, it like it's like the ground. They are coming like uh, some vines below me. That that's kind of such a strong ability. Okay, waken the four other stones. There we go. I'm just like running a straight line just to get at least this main quest done for today. 